ChatGPT is probably taking over all of your feeds and apologies in advance, I'm adding to that. Is ChatGPT being overhyped and over talked about? Sure, a little bit. If you're asking whether or not you need to add .ai to your company name, the answer is probably no. However, there are some really great uses of AI and ChatGPT already that I don't think are overhyped. One of these use cases is creating legal documents. To preface, I'm not a lawyer, so don't take this as legal advice. I'm just using research and my own personal experiences to craft this argument that ChatGPT is actually useful for creating legal documents. With that in mind though, let's first talk about what real lawyers are saying about using ChatGPT for legal purposes and then compare two different docs, one created by a lawyer and one created by ChatGPT. As one study done by researchers at Princeton, Penn, and NYU has concluded, the industry most exposed to the new AI tools was legal services. If you don't believe the academics, economists at Goldman Sachs have estimated that 44% of legal work can be automated. So it's pretty clear that AI is and will have an impact on legal services, specifically for creating standardized docs. According to an interview done by Wired, in one large law firm, 25% of a team of lawyers use ChatGPT every day and 80% of the lawyers use it once a month or more. From what it seems like, ChatGPT can save a lot of time in creating documents and summarizing legal documents. So instead of having to type everything out or read everything line by line, ChatGPT can shorten the time a bit. Now, ChatGPT isn't gonna create final documents usually. It's just gonna act as a starting point for documents because as some legal experts have said, AI can hallucinate. Or in other words, it can make information up or give false information based on the information it has available. All of these AI tools are dependent on what information it has available to them. If the information is false and shallow, the AI won't be that great. Contrary to some beliefs, AI isn't just some magical pixie dust. It still needs some human touch points no matter what in the current versions of AI. To demonstrate that, let's go through the process of creating a one-way non-disclosure agreement, aka a NDA, using two different tools, the Cooley Go Legal Template Generator and ChatGPT. If you don't know what Cooley or Cooley Go are, Cooley is a law firm built for what they call emerging companies, which are essentially startups. They're a popular law firm for startups and usually are highly recommended from investors. Even if you don't work with Cooley though, they have this resource called Cooley Go, which can create legal documents for you based on their templates. It's a free resource and can be a great starting point when it comes to any legal documents of any sort. It could be terms of service, incorporating documents, or basic investment documents. These are documents that have been created by lawyers at Cooley, and essentially you just put your company info in them and bam, you have a starter set of legal documents. Are they perfect? No, but they are a great comparison to what ChatGPT can cook up. So I created a one-way NDA with Cooley Go and ChatGPT. This agreement basically says that whoever you're talking to can't share private information about your company. This type of document is usually for contractors you might be working with at some point. Cooley Go has a standard template for this, so I grabbed that off their website and then went to ChatGPT and put in the prompt, create a one-way non-disclosure agreement for Start Station LLC into ChatGPT. If you wanna see the actual documents yourself, you can see them in the description of this video. Let's compare them just a little bit. Right off the bat, it's pretty clear the Cooley Go document has a little more to it than the ChatGPT document just based on length and the type of language used. It's definitely more legalese in the Cooley Go document. This doesn't necessarily mean it's better, it just has more to review and maybe ideas that you could implement into the chat GPT document if you like aspects of that one better. Again, I'm not a lawyer, but there were a few aspects of the Cooley Go document that ChatGPT did not include at all that might be interesting to include. First, Cooley Go mentioned what should happen if information was disclosed inappropriately. Second, Cooley Go defines what ideas and feedback are related to the confidential information to help create less gray area of what is confidential and what's not. And third, goes into a little bit of how information can be shared or stored. Are all these clauses needed in an NDA? Maybe? I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know how serious they might be down the line. The nice thing about comparing these two documents from Cooley Go and ChatGPT 
is that you can see that ChatGPT does give you a really nice starting point. You can always add or remove things. For example, if I wanted to create a clause on what should happen if information was disclosed inappropriately, I could ask ChatGPT to give me one to add. I can't ask the template to add anything because it's just one standard document. If I learned anything through creating this video, it's that yeah, legal services are absolutely changing with ChatGPT and AI. ChatGPT definitely can create legal documents similar to standardized templates that law firms have shared for many years. The biggest difference being that an average human being like myself can now add clauses a little easier or even start to catch any issues in a legal document. Either way, if you're using standard templates like the Cooley Go templates or legal documents created by ChatGPT, you still want them reviewed by an actual person, an actual lawyer. By having these templates or ChatGPT create a legal document, you save yourself a lot of time as lawyers do not have to bill for the time creating these documents. Maybe they bill for an hour or two to review though. In some ways, it's the best of both worlds. You can create custom legal documents and spend significantly less than you may have had to before ChatGPT. It's high quality documents without the high price tag. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give it a like. And if you're looking for more content like this, you can check out other videos on this channel like this one here.